Hey guys, um, it's Sarah here. Today we're just creating that little um, pink swipe that you just saw in that first screen and here it is um, uh, drying. It is that slightly darker colour. That first uh, photo is a little bit too light in my opinion. The lighting in the room is not, um, not absolutely fantastic. It's one of a series of four that you can see there. I just love all the little cells and bubbles and things that come through that. I think they look great. I'm um, doing a video on all of those four there. And the one in the top right hand corner, I'm putting a, a, a gymnast in as well. And there's another picture of it there. Um, it's a very quick little painting. Uh, it's just an acrylic, acrylic swipe uh, technique. So these little canvases here, I get them from Kmart. And uh, they are just four uh, 20 centimeter square canvases for five dollars. So they're cheap. They're not amazing quality. They're quite um, they're quite thin. But for this, they are amazing. Um, being very happy just playing around on those canvases, you know, rather than you know paying um, uh, sort of three or four dollars each when you're when you're practicing and trying new techniques and uh, doing a few things. Much better to have the um, the four four pack for. Um, five dollars however during the uh, events recently they have sort of sold out quite a lot and I've had to sort of buy like five packs at once when I can get them sometimes they just don't have them in stock but that's okay you know all I'm doing there is I'm just putting a, a layer of white paint on it's just white acrylic mixed 50 50 ish with flow troll really just enough to get something down it doesn't really matter those proportions with the, for that base coat there for this just as long as you get a little bit of a mix down um, just to help the paint slip a little bit and uh, my paints, I mix them quite thickly. And the recipe is uh, a little bit difficult because you kind of need to, um, uh, you kind of need to see it. It's um, roughly sort of one part acrylic to maybe three parts Floetrol and a little bit of water just to bring it up to the, the right runningness of the, um, of the uh, ice cream stick there. And one or two drops of the Helmer's silicon oil. You don't need that, but I like adding it in. Um, if anyone's interested, I'll leave a link to what that is or what that looks like below. And you just want to sort of, you can see it's sort of there drizzling off the stick and that's sort of what you want. You don't want it too thin, but you do want it to sort of pull off the, um, pull off that stick like that. The colours I've got there, um, you can use anything you like. It's just, uh, all of those are blends that I've made up from, um, warm reds and yellows. Um, and then I just added varying amounts of metallic pearl into each of them. Um, just to make three different three different shades and I'm adding in just a little bit of um, a pale blue again I made that up I think it's got a little bit of the metallic pearl uh, paint in it as well it's global metallic pearl and then this is obviously just a gold the, the, the key point here is you can do anything you can use any colors you like with this technique just make sure that your paints are roughly the same consistency otherwise some will sink and some will float to the top and you'll end up not quite having the spread of colors around it that you wanted um, you don't want to cover the entire thing because pulling the uh, paper towel over it as we're going to in a minute creates um, a really interesting swipe and bubble effect if you have those little gaps in the painting. The most important thing is, see it's the metallic pearl plane by itself, um, with obviously with the flow troll. Um, I don't think I've put silicone in that one actually. Um, the most important thing is that you put paint on the sides. You can see there on the left and right how, you know, starting to make sure right up to the edges there is little dots of paint. If you leave gaps around the sides of your canvas, you will end up with holes. You can see there, there's me just making sure you dot little bits, um, dot little bits in. I mean, you can fix it up um, easily enough, but, you know, that's really, I guess, the, the key tip with that. And just mixing these ones in. I actually did this a couple of months ago, this one. We've just been, had a little bit of delays with um, my computer deciding it wasn't going to work very well. I don't know why, it's just magically started working again. No idea. And as you can see, that's me there, just making sure that paint really does go right on those outside edges, particularly up the top because I'm going to swipe down and I want a little bit of paint up the top there. Um, these work really well as backgrounds for other paintings as well. So um, you can just pop in a little bit of paint and um, uh, do a quick swipe down and then you can use it as a background. And that's what I'm going to do with that dancer. Oh, so you can't see the dancer painting. Um, but there was another one in that uh, set of four in the top right hand side, which had kind of like a stage set up. So a background and then there was a, um, a darker bit down the bottom. And I actually put a dancer, or it's a gymnast actually, in that for my drawer. I'll do that a bit later. 
It's another video coming another day. And then what I'm doing here is I've just got some damp paper towels um, and you just place it up on the top of the, of the canvas and hold it there for a couple of seconds. Don't freak out and just pull it down. Just let that paint slowly sink onto the top of the uh, paper towel for about five seconds. And when you see it sort of catch, um, you just slowly can drag that down. And you can see straight away those little um, the silicon and the bubbles and the cells starting to pop through. Go nice and slowly, don't rush it, take your time. An extra few seconds, it's not gonna hurt it. And then because I'm not tilting, I'm just using what's left on the paper towel there to sort of coat the sides. So you just hold it there, hold it there a second. Don't just dab it and pull it off. Let it sit there and the paint sort of transfers from the paper towel um, over to the, um, the sides of the canvas. Uh, if you're tilting, this isn't so much of a problem, obviously, but this is a non-tilted um, uh, type of swipe. I like doing that, it means there's not quite as much mess. You know, when you're tilting, particularly if you're tilting big canvases, you get paint everywhere. Um, you know, which is okay sometimes, but sometimes if you've just got a little corner, you just want to do a little painting and you don't want to make much of a mess, that's what you get. And you can see there those little cells and bubbles popping through and I love that. I think it looks just great. Um, you can imagine that, you know, from, I haven't quite covered that perfectly. And because it's like one of the last, um, you know, places I put on there, the colours aren't quite as bright, but that's okay. Um, just gently touching up those edges if you need to, you can do that. If I wanted to re-swipe through, you could re-swipe through. Um, if you've got any holes on the side of the canvas there because you didn't quite put enough paint, you can just sort of knock it through or use another piece of paper towel. Um, nearly done. As I said, it's just a really quick little video. Um, any questions, let me know. But that's it. It dries quite nicely. I didn't have any problems with this one drying. And um, there it is. Okay, the colour is not actually as perfect in that one as it was. But there it is. And I hope you um, have a go at this one. It's nice and easy. Great for beginners. Uh, great for kids too. It's nice and easy. Anyway, thanks for watching. And um, pop back and see the other videos in the series. See you later.